thank you so much for joining me today. I have some beauty favorites, I have some skincare favorites, and I also have a lifestyle favorite that I would love to share with you. Let me get started. I'm going to start out with my lifestyle favorite, and if you know me, I think you know what my favorite lifestyle was in the month of August and that was my trip with my meet up with Mary Ellen and her husband Jim. We had such a wonderful, wonderful afternoon, three hours of talking, chatting and laughing and it was just incredible. It really was not only to meet Mary Ellen and spend time with her, but just it was like getting together with an old friend. That's what it was really like. It meant so much to me to be able to get together with her. So that was definitely a, a huge, uh, it, it was actually the highlight of my summer, to tell you the truth. I mean, it, it truly was. If you didn't catch Mary Ellen's video, I am going to leave it linked down below where you could see a little clip where uh, she was able to video us and I, and she, place that video oh, geez I can't speak today Marley what's up and she placed that little piece of video in her video so I will leave it down below so you can see her. she also inserted lots of pictures if you haven't please stop by and visit Mary Ellen so and if, of course you must know her if you know me but uh yeah stop by and visit her it was awesome. It truly, truly was. All right, I'm not going in any particular order. I have some old favorites and I have some new favorites. And I wanted to share them all with you because I continue. You might see me purchasing a lot of products and I really do use it all because I keep everything, all my products, I keep them in rotation, especially when I'm talking about makeup. I have palettes on rotation, I have foundations, I use a different foundation every single day. That's just me, that's what I do, what can I tell you, you know, that's my hobby. No, my hobby is actually being here. And other favorite, uh, well, let me start off with a huge favorite that I had not mentioned, and that is all of you that come here and support me every single video upload and you leave me comments and you leave me thumbs up. I also want to thank all of you that signed up for the Be Frugal where you save the money. It's like Rakuten. I'll leave the link to it down below. Many of you signed up and I truly, truly appreciate you using my link. I obviously don't know who signed up, but I appreciate it and I thank you. I am getting a check back I, I received a check back from Rakuten and I think it was about $160 from my purchases. I also am getting one from Be Frugal for about $130. And the nice thing about them is that you can check because sometimes one has a higher percentage than the other. And if you put it, place it right there on your browser, you'll they'll, they'll both pop up and they'll both tell you what they are offering. Right now when I'm recording this, Macy's had 12% back on Be Frugal. So, you know, you've got, you need to uh, place it on your, on your browser so you can check and see which one is offering more and then go with that one. I think it's a great deal. So thank you to all of you that signed up for it. Now, Marlene, stop the digression. Let's get on with the video. Favorite products. I'm gonna start out with these. This is the Radiant Sleep. If you watched a previous video, I spoke about the Ollie gummies and I ran out of the sleep one that I have been using and I came across this one at Sephora and this is from the Sephora collection. This is a Radiant Sleep. It is for, a re it's a restorative beauty rest. It has melatonin and it has botanicals. It's supposed to be good for the skin. I have really been enjoying these they more than it i don't know if it's doing anything for my skin i'm not going to sit here and say oh yeah it's make, doing wonders uh no i'm not going to say that what i will tell you is that they put me to sleep i will not be without these obviously you can't take these every day at least that's what the package says so i try to do like every other day or two or three times a week 
This I have spoken about a few times. I don't think I had it in my favorites last month, but this is the Cover FX. This is in Sweet Mulberry. I really need to buy some more. I don't know why I forgot to buy some during the Sephora sale, but I love these shades. Just beautiful. I have been, if you look at my description box in the past, these last few videos, you will see that I use this often. It is just a beautiful, beautiful, blush and it is the highlight it lasts it's pigmented it's beautiful it's cover fx for lip products i had purchased the two lip pencils from alamar i have spoken about these as well and these lip pencils just work so beautifully this is uh coqueta and this one is dulce the lighter one is dulce dulce in spanish it's it's sweet coqueta means like a flirty girl and the darker one is coqueta and the other and the lighter one is dulce if you have a deeper skin tone these would work really really nicely for you like that brown one that does not look brown on me at all the lighter one i think would work with any any skin tone because it's it's a perfect nude and along with these I had purchased Dulce which is a lip gloss it is a pigmented lip gloss but a lip gloss nevertheless and it is right along the lines of a 1970 lip gloss you know what I'm talking about this one Sheila sent me and I just love it because this is my perfect nude and this, the lighter one, once again, is in Dulce, and the darker one is in Coqueta. So this one is Dulce, and this one is Coqueta. Love that Coqueta. I have used it since Sheila sent it to me. I have just used the heck out of that. I love these. As many of you know, I love Dose of Colors, and I purchased, I think it's Ulta that carries this. This is Messy Bun, and once again, it is a highly pigmented lip gloss. It lasts, it looks so pretty, and many of you have complimented me when I have worn it. This is the shade, just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this, so that made one of my favorites as well because I have been using the heck out of that one. Too. Because yes, I wear makeup every single day. You know, I have been meaning to talk to you all about this and I keep forgetting. This is by Grand Cosmetics. This is the Grand Brow. And many of you admire, compliment my brows. And one of the things I think I mentioned in a previous video, how right in the inner part, I it's getting a bit sparse. This is what I'm taking, how I take care of them. I use the, the Grand Brow. This is like the second or the third one that I buy. I love this stuff. I love Grand Cosmetics. I have used their Lash Serum. I use their, the Grand Lips. Stephanie sent me this one. And this is in Butter Rum, which I also love. This is matte, but it doesn't dry down ugly. You know, it doesn't... It doesn't make you look like all wrinkly or anything like that. So that's toasted rum. It's toasted something. I'll leave it linked down below because I can't see. You know that. Isn't that pretty? Love these. So if you are looking for a, a brow serum, I think this one works really well. I just, I, I like uh, Grand Cosmetics and I... I've never been disappointed with any of their products. For my lashes, what I'm actually using is this that Monica sent me, and it is from Blink. She sent me two of these, and this one is the first one, and it's almost finished because the first month that I used it, I used it every single day. And the and since then, I think she sent it to me like in June, I believe. And what I did in July and most of August, I, I've used it like every other day. And so many of you, when I did the, the review for one of, I think it was for the Fenty Cosmet, for the Fenty Foundation, so many of you complimented me and asked me if I was wearing false lashes. Now, 
it's the plank. This is awesome, absolutely awesome. I'll leave the lay, I'll, I will leave the link to the blank and I will also leave you the link for the Grand Cosmetics Lash Serum. So you can see which one better fits your budget, which one you'd rather go with. I honestly have been loving, absolutely loving this. For this I have talked about at nauseum, but I wanted to mention it again. It is the Kiehl's Under Eye uh, Cream. I use this one at night and I am almost out of it because I love this stuff. When I wake up in the morning, I have no lines. It, it's extra emollient. If you need that extra hydration under your eyes, if you have very dry, a lot of dryness under your eyes, the Kiehl's is incredible. However, I don't use this during the day because it is very emollient. The one that I use during the day, this one I have been talking about forever, and this is by 100% Pure. This is the Coffee Bean Eye Cream. I love this. I think this works incredibly well. I either apply it first and then I apply my concealer or I mix it with my concealer depending on the consistency of the concealer. Right now I'm trying out the Shiseido concealer and it's emollient so I didn't have to mix it. I applied this first and then I applied that concealer. But you know you play by ear and you it makes it but I think that this does an incredible credible job brightening your eyes and reducing any puffiness because it is it, it does contain the coffee bean and it smells like coffee if you like coffee you will love this and the the scent in it isn't as strong as it was when I first tried this about three years ago the scent was very very strong of coffee and I think they've bought it down a notch. I love 100% Pure. I have this on automatic delivery from, I believe it's the Derm store. I love the products that I have tried from 100% Pure. It's uh, cruelty-free. It's, it's a clean product. They don't use any bad ingredients. And I have on order a few other of their products to try. Actually, I believe they have some makeup, some concealer and I really wanted to try that so I can share it with you in case you prefer these types of products and anyway I have them on order I will share them at some point with you geez that was long-winded on on 100% pure you know that I have been trying a lot of foundations and I'm not going to rank them or anything like that but I will tell you the one that I have been really really enjoying is the one by dose of colors I love this foundation this is a medium coverage foundation it is buildable my shade is in 123 medium tan it says that it's matte but I think it looks so so pretty I'm not going to go into it. I have a review on it and I will leave the link to that video listed down below in case this is something that you're interested in. It is available at Ulta and it is available on the Dose of Color website. If you sign up for their emails, they sometimes do um, discounts. Just recently they did site-wide buy one of something and get another one free which I thought was a great idea, especially if you have a friend and you want to get your friend a foundation and get one for you. I don't think that's going on any longer, but I did want to mention it in case you want to sign up for the emails for future sales. But I love this foundation. I am so happy with it. It lasts. It's gorgeous. Watch the video if you didn't. This is an oldie but a goodie, and I haven't talked about it in forever, so I wanted to let you know the concealer that I use the most is the one by Too Faced. This is the Conceal Contour Highlight and Retouch Concealer. I love this. It is a light consistency. It is not a heavy consistency. I don't think it's heavy, but it might be for some people. For me, I don't think it's heavy, but it has a really nice coverage. I use a couple of shades. Maybe it is a little thicker. Maybe I'm wrong on that. It's a little, it is thicker than the, the Shiseido that I'm trying out. 
but I love this concealer. You just need a tiny little bit. If you use too much of this, it will cake and it will crease. But what I do with it, I just add a little dot in my inner corner and then I add like two little dots and then I blend it out. I have, this is how much I love it. I have different shades. The nice thing with this also, like I have this shade Mocha if I have, if I'm wearing a foundation that is not as full coverage and I need to cover a few dark spots, I can just go in with this and just lightly tap it. Love these. Can't say enough about them. I have talked till no end about CBD by Flora and Bass and I am going to talk about it again. I finished my bottle. And no, this is not an empties video, but it is a favorite. I use it every single day consistently. I love this. It has taken, it has replaced so many of my skincare products. I love this. I think it's doing fantastic things for my skin. They actually are working on a new formula. I don't know if I have it here. They sent me to test out, yeah, they sent me to test out uh, a new formula and no I am not the only tester you know I'm not gonna say that there's probably 500 other people testing it as well I'm you know I'm just one in the haystack or whatever so but anyway I'm testing the new one just because I have talked so much about their products I get nothing for it nothing at all I just love their product you know that it, if you saw my Sephora haul, you know that I ordered like four of these bottles. I paid full, well, I didn't pay full price because I got the 20% off. But nevertheless, um, I am. I'm trying there. I was very flattered. Yes. You know, I felt special. But, you know, I, they, they sent out the email to a whole bunch of people. I'm not sitting here trying to say that I am the only one because I'm not. Uh, you know, I've been trying the Skin Diva, the Vitamin C by Skin Diva. They, I had one giveaway and I said I was going to give it a shot. I have been using it for the last few months. I love this one. I, I love the Timeless as well, but you know what? This I think is working exceptionally well. I really like it. I will continue using it. And yeah, I don't, you probably can't see it, but I'm like a little under half the bottle. Love this. If you need a vitamin C, this is a good one to try out. It's not overly pricey. It's right around the same price as the Timeless. So either one works really well. This is also an oldie, and I don't think I've talked to you about this. And this is the Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. Mine is in number six, which is dark tan. And I like it because I can wear it all by itself. And I also wear it underneath my foundation. I just think it gives a, it provides a really pretty glow. I love this and I had not mentioned it to you. If you need a type of a primer, uh, let me show you what it looks like. It does have a doe foot applicator. It, I just think it gives a really pretty glow to the skin. But if you want to wear it by itself, it's certainly very doable, very, very pretty. I love this. I'm on a Charlotte Tilbury kick. I have to tell you, I have been using this palette. This is the palette actually that I was wearing in the Sephora haul. Love this. This is Vintage Vamp. This is also, I, I purchased it quite a few months ago. I love this palette and I have used this extensively. It is so, so, so pretty in my opinion. It's not work for me is this primer from Milk, this Pills. It just does not work for me. I have tried it with different foundations. I have tried it with skincare, with no skincare. And this morning I had to, after I had my foundation applied, I had to take it off because this once again pilled. And I said, yeah, that's it. I am going to let the ladies know in case you were thinking about picking it up. Uh, yeah, and if it works for you, let me know what you do because it's almost full. And each time, even just, I've, I've applied it to my face and then it just starts falling up, pelling up, whatever. Anyway. Thank you all so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate every single one of you. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.